I once saw a photographer try to eat a bologna sandwich during a wedding reception. The father was bringing the bride to the groom, and he was deep in pimento loaf. He had no dignity, and none of them do. It doesn't mean if five of them showed me their photos, I'd refuse to help them. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So if you want to be on the show, email cameraconspiracies at disciples.com and wait your turn. The waiting list is about three years. And as a side review, we have... Remember the Zayun lights I reviewed? Well, they also have an RGB version. So we're doing that now. RGB up in this. Douche tuber about to be confirmed. I love how it doesn't turn on right away. You gotta turn a thing. Honestly, it is annoying. You gotta press this. Oh, rotate to turn on. And then wait. So that's gonna, that glowing orb's gonna be in the shot. Affiliate links are down below. Okay, we got a shot here. We have a horse looking upon us. You know, you can tell immediately when it's full frame. I might get a couple of these wrong in the future. I just brought some pain upon me, but like this is an actual camera. I've been sent a lot of point and shoot snapshots in this show. And it's like, okay, there's an actual image at least. We got a horse, curious horse, passerby. Not bad. We had, this is a Sony a7S III. 12 megapixels is too much, is what we've learned. 90 mil, Zeiss 25 and 55. Thanks for telling me every lens you own and have no idea which one this is. That's fantastic. I'm gonna guess it's the 55 mil. Little 3D pop on that horse. It's not bad, not a bad shot. Gloomy day. You couldn't wait for some sun to peek through the clouds on a horizon red type of sunrise. It does, however, remind me of a similar shot I got, but next to my horse were more animals, more interesting animals. There was a little dog, and the cat was almost as big, a Maine Coon cat. And then, like, a giant rat, even bigger than the horse. So it was like, wow, that I should take a photo of that. That's an interesting scene. It's not just a horse on a boring-ass background with a cloudy day. It's... It's like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see a giant rat bigger than a horse and the cats and dogs mid-sized. Huh? Okay, wow. We have the dustiest symbol on Earth. Thanks for showing that. Thanks for not taking the three seconds of preparation it would have took to feather dust the thing off. Like, oh, don't worry, I'll polish this first. You're not gonna just take a picture of it now. A symbol unused hasn't been hit in 20 years. This is not a musician's house, it's a failure. A failure who does nothing but eat bologna at weddings. I've taken pictures of products in my house and they were super dusty and I was like, oh, like I would never show that to anybody. You're submitting this to a contest where you could potentially win a trip to your neighborhood grocery store on your own time to get a feather duster. They have them in one of the aisles. It does remind me of a shot I took once, where I actually captured the drummer mid-stroke, and he was hitting it as his friend was cleaning the cymbal to get the dust off. And they both had such realistic grips, and I definitely didn't forget to remove the outer edge of the transparent photos. I, there's no lines, but they're, in my opinion, leading lines to help you see that Black people and white people working together? Huh? One's drumming, one's working. That doesn't mean that the one is a slave. That's not what I meant to convey, but I see this has gone pretty bad for me. Um, clean the symbol, you piece of shit. By the way, that bullshit dusty shot, he said it was a Sony A7R three, but XF data shows it's an A6400 and you're a piece of bullshit, crap, lying ass. Oh wow, what an inspiring shot, a moment captured in time, a wave with nothing on it. Usually there's surfers or something, and then, oh, that's interesting. You still wouldn't have been close enough because your lens is short. You're probably short too. What is this? A6300, 350 mil, 
There's nothing here and the water looks over sharpened as a digital piece of shit image with no colors of Sony color science. The blues are so disgusting. One of the worst shots of our time, but it does, however, remind me of when I was there. I noticed a helicopter and he was saving somebody from ocean gorillas and he was getting out. It looked okay, but there was one in the water that was almost about to reach him. The helicopter guy didn't even know that there's a frickin' baby gorilla hanging on the tail, the propeller thing, and a giant one just waiting on top. He's not even worried. He looks like, oh, I'll attack you when I'm ready. I don't even care about all this wind generated from the propellers. I'm a gorilla. I can hang. So like, this captured a moment in time where gorillas were the superior race to human beings. We lost that day. That helicopter is part of the sea now, and the gorillas use it for whatever they want. I moved my glowing orb closer and added a warm tint, because that's what you can do with Zayun. Huh? Okay, here we are. A freaking out of focus squirrel cropped in probably 300% over sharp. And this is with an A7 IV. This is a full frame image and you got that from a photo like i i've gotten better looking slow motion footage in hd 480 frames on my acaso brave it looks so bad why how did you get such a bad look 347 mils what does that even mean are you actually using an aps-c lens on a full frame camera is that what you've done to us this is the worst thing ever. April on Instagram. I'm gonna follow you and then unfollow you just so you have more disappointment in your life. It reminds me of a shot I took of a similar squirrel, but he was defending China from American soldiers. And he had a sword and he won. When I take a photograph, I make sure to bring some intrigue are those tiny soldiers, or is it a giant squirrel? These are the things that you will debate as you buy this for your house, and you print it the size of your entire wall. Wow, that light, that is ruining my shot. Oh man, Zion, what have you done? I put it directly behind me. Can you even see it? Oh, look at those moments, huh? Okay, last shot. We have a mountain. There's not a lot happening on the mountain, but that's fine. Decent color science. We're, we're shot on a Fuge here. We got an XS10. Not bad. 206 mil. So you got the 70 to 300 decent little combo. You took a shot. Everything's purple magenta hell, but it's a Fuji hell. And it's a vintage touch. And it's, it's not a bad scene. It's just... Not a lot is happening. There's not a lot of colors that are interesting. There's no sun. Not one hiker on that mountain. You wanna know why there's no hikers? Last time I was there, there was a freaking sand monster. And so like people aren't really going up there. There was actually a guy who was hiking up, but he was like, oh, there's a sand monster. So he turned back around. He was about to give up, but Tony Robbins was there to motivate him. He's like, look, an old couple's up there. They've already defeated the sand monster. You're going to turn away? Young, healthy, young man. And this old couple is going to show you up. That's what you're here to do? To show the newer generations weak? Come on. We're not here to do that. Look at those glowing lights. Zayun, what have you done? Amazing. Wow. 90% of filmmakers only aim to get this shot. Wow. Thank you, Zayun, for sending me the thing. Affiliate links are down below. There could be a discount code for you. And these photos were pretty bad. Not one stands out. I already forget each one. I'm not going to print one for the background. You all lost. And you lost hope in humanity. That is sad.
That is sad. Go leave them some hater comments, will ya? How you doing? You subscribing for more videos? I'll see you next